you just came back from a five-day trip to Ukraine. What did you see there? Well, I saw uh, increasingly as I was approaching Kyiv, the witnesses of a war which has a deep impact on the civilian population. You see all those leaving the countries, you see uh, witnesses and testimony of those displaced in the country. Uh, you see a lot of roadblocks and uh, increasingly also uh, weaponry put in place uh, to shield off uh, any further advancement uh, of troops. I have seen quite uh, a sort of a spooky capital in a lockdown on Wednesday where there is uh, no people on the street and uh, very few or no restaurants open and only the most important shops open. Uh, do you see there are still any spots of safety for uh, most of the Ukrainians? I would say relatively safe spot in a sense that they are not front lines. We all know where the front lines are. They go from Kyiv to the northeast to the south. Uh, it's no question that these are very dangerous places. And in Kyiv, urban warfare uh, in Ukraine is really one of our key concerns at the present moment. A lot of artillery and weaponry is, dis is displayed and used in that highly and densely populated area. And that's the reason why we see so much internal displacements and displacements out of Ukraine. Mr. President, you've been talking about over the past few days about scaling, speeding up, and also adapting. Uh, tell us exactly what you meant briefly. Well, we uh, have doubled our budget. We probably will increase further and we are planning now Compared to our original budget of 75 million Swiss francs, we probably still spend 250 million Swiss francs at least uh, during that year. Uh, that will significantly uh, increase our surface of operation. We will bring people in and specialists in, water specialists and sanitation and electricity specialists to fix uh, damaged installations. We will bring in the pipeline of goods where goods are necessary. We will certainly look with the Ukrainian government and also with other authorities to increase our cash contributions to displaced populations. So these are just some of the activities, but we will try to be flexible. China has uh, on Monday announced of 10 million yuan additional aid to Ukraine. Is this going to be done through direct interaction with Ukraine? Well, at the present moment, we work first and foremost with those countries channeling humanitarian assistance through the ICRC. As you know, there are multiple channels and on the ground, we will certainly do best efforts to coordinate well with those who are there and bring important contributions, first and foremost, that across societies of so many countries in the world, whom I have seen on the ground already at the borders of Poland, Hungary and Romania, and we will continue to do so in the future.